what's up guys the hackspot here and a while back i made a video on the best android screen recorder so i thought i'd revisit that and make a fully updated video on what i think is the best android screen recorder it's very new let's jump right in and all right so over here i have three devices that i'm going to be testing it on both fast and slow big name brands and a pretty obscure one so over in the middle we have the galaxy s9 galaxy note 5 and over here um digi crystal i believe that's how you pronounce it i made a video on this in the past like a budget android phone pretty cool but it's kind of slow all right so let's get started so guys of course no root is needed all you gotta do is load up the play store in the search over here you want to go in and type in m n m l just like that and it's the first one that pops up. This is a new screen recorder. So yeah, taking a look, a minimal and easy to use recorder. It's completely free and open source. So yeah, I do have it installed on my device. You guys can see right there. Let's go and open it up. And I'll be showing you guys how this works on other devices too. If this pops up, needs permission to access your phone storage. Hit OK, allow, and hit OK again. So there you go, you have no recordings yet, so we are just getting started. So again, this is super simple and easy to use. To record, there's one button, hit record, and hit OK. Allow permissions if it asks you so that it can record. And let's go back over here, and three, two, one. Don't show this again. Recording will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. Start now. If you don't want to see that message, again, hit don't show, and there we go. So now you guys see it says stop. Simple as that. It's recording my device, and... I'm gonna go back in. You can record gameplay, all that good stuff. Set up a simple game, Subway Surfers. You guys know <laughs> I'm obsessed with this game. Not really playing it, but just showing it in videos. All right, it looks like we still got like the Christmas theme going on over here. I don't update it, I don't think so. All right, here we go. So it's recording my device. It's gonna play through a little bit. Woo, this is, this game is so much fun. <laughs> I love the graphics. I just like vibrancy. All right, so anyways, let's go back over here. Stop the recording. And there is our recording. To view it, tap on it. It'll ask you what you want to open with. I'm just going to do my gallery app. And let's just do it once. And uh, you can just do always too if you want to. And there it is. So this is my galleries app. You guys can see that. And it's the recording. So yeah, pretty awesome. You guys can see just how smooth it is. I really like the screen recorder. We're all loading up Subway Surfers, and it looks like I'm using it in real time. Love it. So, a great screen recorder. No root required. Let's go and see while the gameplay is. So, super smooth. and looks amazing. So, the quality is fantastic. And yeah, so it could go back over there to the screen recorder. There are some more options. Tap on the three dots, feedback, and then there's settings. So, then you could uh, modify the app's UI theming. So, how it looks. The countdown, you could have that if you want that. So you can even make that one second if that annoys you. Or you can make it longer if you want more time to be able to open your app and have it record right then. So record audio, you can turn that on or off. Recording folder where it records to and saves. Recording, you can change the quality, controls, and you basically got everything in this one app with a very simple and easy to use interface. So quickly, let's head over to UI. And I like the dark mode, so you can go and enable that and it looks a lot better. And also for recordings, again, you can see where it saves to, which is over here. So if you ever want to pop it onto your computer, you can plug it in, use any Android file transfer software or app on your Mac or Windows. I like to use Android file transfer for Mac and basically just head over to that folder. You'll find the recording, simply drag and drop it, and then you can edit it and do whatever you want with it. So pretty awesome. Let's go and try it on the other devices too. So again, the Note 5 over here with a bunch of stuff running. You can see I have the iOS mod, so I got control center. So I got to watch out for the buttons. But if you missed my video on this, it's on my channel. Just going to search for iOS on Android. All right, guys. Now for the Note 5, I did find that if I go into the Play Store, type in MNML, you can see this is the one that we have. It's not the same thing, but this does work too. So I can open this up and it has a similar UI. We could tap on this, hit record and start now so yeah this one kind of works the same and it looks like mnml i'm not sure if it is the exact same thing but it does still record which is cool so anyways i'm gonna go back over here I'm just gonna tap on this so yeah like same user interface which is weird but it's not called the same thing so yeah you guys can see it has the same video file i'm going to tap on it open it up in the gallery yep there it is so i'm gonna use a video player and yeah, I can see it's recording the audio. Still record, which is cool. So anyways, I'm going to go back over. Pretty cool. Again, it's like basically the same thing, but it's not called MNML. And it still runs the same too, so pretty awesome. And on this device, you do get the actual one. So I don't know if it matters because it's really the same thing. And there we go. Let's hit start. Okay, allow. And okay. So let's go and record. 
and it does work just the same. So I got to enable this, head back, and the recording is going to start in 3, 2, 1. And the screen's bright, so everything's became dark. Let's go and enable it. And there you go. So now we are recording, and it's pretty fluid too. You actually, this phone is kind of slow with the transitions already through the pages. But yeah, I could go and load up Fruit Ninja, and it will still record. Uh, come on. Okay, see, this device is pretty slow. But let's see if the recorder was still able to record. All right, so I'm going to go head on back. Go back over here. Stop. Looks like we did get the recording. Let's go and tap on it. Opens up straight away. There is a recording. So, and yeah, there it is. So again, you can enable audio recording in the settings if you want to do that. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for many more awesome videos. I've got so much more planned. This is the Hackspot. Peace out.